I'm Elise Bethelier, and I am a state environmental conservation police officer. I'm a graduate of the University of Connecticut. I obtained uh, bachelor's degrees there in natural resources, wildlife management, and animal science. And about two years after graduation, I was lucky enough to be hired by the department, so I don't have any prior police or military experience, but many of our officers do. So if someone had told me that I was going to be a police officer, I never would have believed them. I always joke and I like to say, and my parents will, will confirm it, I was raised by old hippies in Northern New Hampshire, um, but I was raised very much in the outdoors, hiking, biking, canoeing, kayaking. We had a small family farm, but I thought I wanted to be a vet. That is what I wanted to do for my entire childhood. I was gonna be a vet. I have worked all over the state. We are full state police officers. We enforce a wide variety, everything from your hunting, fishing, and trapping. Uh, in the parks, we're responsible for all kinds of criminal matters. Anything you would see in a normal town or city, we see in our parks and forests and campgrounds. Uh, we are also responsible for boating enforcement on the Connecticut River, Long Island Sound, and all your inland lakes and streams. Uh, our officers on the shoreline are also responsible for commercial shell fishing enforcement and commercial fisheries enforcement, which is a really large industry in Connecticut. I don't think a lot of people realize, but the oyster industry alone is close to $3 billion. So it's a busy job. We never know what we might see in a day. It's what I love about it. Um, I might go from, you know, checking fishermen or checking boaters at a boat launch, driving through a couple parks, you know, seeing what's going on there, or I might get a call for a hawk stuck in blueberry netting, missing persons, search and rescues at all hours of the night, uh, water search, a boating accident. I'm a member of the boating accident reconstruction unit, so we will actually take accidents and kind of figure out what happened after the fact. We've had an alligator walking down the street in New London. Uh, we had a marmoset in somewhere in the southwest corner of the state, a bobcat in a house in Killingworth. You name it, I've seen it in the almost dozen years I've been working. We're a very non-traditional law enforcement agency, which I really enjoy. You know, we don't have roll call. I start my day at my house from my truck. This is my office in this patrol truck. So I carry everything I might need and then some because I never know what I might be doing in a day. If I'm going on a boat, if I'm gonna be hiking for five hours out in the woods, looking for a lost person, needing to render medical aid, dealing with an injured or sick animal. There's no one way to get here. Very frequently from high schoolers, college students, I get the question, how do you, what do I have to do? How do you get this job? And I, I like to tell kids that there is no one way. That's one of the amazing things about our department is we have an incredible wide variety of backgrounds in our officers. This is such a non-traditional police job and covers such a broad spectrum of topics. A decade in, I'm still learning new things constantly, but working for Deep as a Whole is great. You know, it's a, it's a really laid back atmosphere, I guess maybe is the best way. Everyone that works for Deep loves the outside, loves the outdoors. You know, it's a great job.